Hey, Rollerbitters, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. Thanks for being here. So we're gonna learn how to do a true Mizu today. One of the channel supporters, Radomir Milosevic, left a comment the other day asking if I would do a tutorial, a little how-to on how to do a true Mizu, and it's one of my favorite tricks. So I'm happy to do it. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Before we get into it, please, if you do end up liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps get rollerblading out to more people here on YouTube. Anytime you're learning, learning new tricks, please wear your protective equipment, right? At least a helmet, wear as many pads as you feel you need. I always kind of mention this too, is that rollerblading is more of an art than a science. I'm gonna teach you my best approach to learning a true Mizu grind, but that doesn't mean that this is the be all end all of it, right? Take what works for you, discard what doesn't, and always be willing to learn from experienced skaters. And this video is gonna be pretty quick and pretty fast, but that is not always how you learn tricks, right? That's not always how it goes. So be mentally prepared. Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. You know, basically, what is it? Prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. So mentally go into this thinking it's gonna take a little bit longer than, than you may otherwise think. Okay, so let's talk about step one of the five steps on learning how to do a true Mizu grind. So this is a little bit non-standard, maybe a little bit different than other people may have mentioned in the past. I haven't actually I haven't actually seen any tutorials for true, true spin Mizu grinds, but my step one is you should be able, it's more of a prerequisite, you should be able to do a nice solid backside grind prior to learning how to do a true spin Mizu grind. And one thing that I'm really gonna be harping on is the one big mistake that I see people making and really how to correct that. While we're doing our backside grind here on step one, what you really wanna focus on is having your shoulders and head and as much as possible your hips oriented in the direction of travel. You should be fully engaged with what's going on in front of you and what's coming towards you. Again, having your eyes and shoulders as face forward as possible during this grind and that's gonna be really key to uh, to learning how to do a true spin Mizu grind in my opinion. Okay, so step two, we're gonna start stalling that backside grind, and here's what we're gonna do from here is that you're gonna stall a backside grind, and you can do it on a, on a rail. I'm gonna be doing it on a rail in this video at the local park, but you can do it on a P-Box, a ledge, whatever you're most comfortable with or have access to. So you're going to stall it, right? From a, You're gonna stall a backside stall, and then you're going to carefully put that trailing foot, turn that trailing foot, to where you're locked onto a soul grind and into a true spin Mizu orientation or position. All right, so we're not focused on sliding, we're just focused on stalling a backside, turning that, pivoting that trailing foot into a true Mizu, and then jumping off the obstacle. Ideally, right, the end goal here is that you're gonna, when you're gonna jump on this true Mizu, you're gonna keep, like we talked about, your head and shoulders oriented towards the direction of travel. You know, in the beginning, you may have to look down at your feet when you're pivoting you know, pivoting that trailing foot and that's fine, but you should quickly start focusing on not having to look once that you start building that muscle memory. And once you start getting a little bit comfortable, start coming at the obstacle with a little tiny bit of speed. So slide a backside grind, super slow, pivot that trailing foot into a true Mizu, slide a couple inches, whatever it may be, and jump off the obstacle and get a, just do this and start getting reps, 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 reps. And one thing that I think that is really important at this phase too is to start building good muscle memory and good habits. And so a big part of uh, true Mizu's in my opinion is driving that trailing leg knee over the obstacle, right? I think a lot of, a big mistake a lot of people make is that they're really upright they kind of let their foot and leg be pretty stiff and upright when really, if you really want to have nice, long, smooth, true Mizu's, you want to focus on driving that knee, that back knee over the obstacle. All right, so step three, you're going to start stalling it, jumping right onto the true Mizu, right? So no speed, you're just going to stand kind of parallel to the obstacle, jump up, turn that foot, lock on, and then jump down. Again, we're just building muscle memory. We're just stalling it at this point. If you look at the best skaters, there is no unnecessary movement. They are extremely efficient. There's no wasted energy or movement of uh, you know body position that is not absolutely necessary for the trick. So what I see is a lot of people will just jump up and shift their entire body, their shoulders, head, and hips all the way 180 degrees all the way around when really that's super inefficient and it does not help you achieve the trick very well. Okay, step four, you guessed it. We're gonna start rolling up to the obstacle with just a tiny bit of speed. We're gonna jump on that true Mizu 
and we're gonna slide a couple inches, focusing on keeping our knee, driving that trailing knee over the obstacle, shoulders and head facing the direction of travel. And we're not trying to be here or here, just slide a couple inches and hop off. Stay here as long as you need to, just get reps and reps. Once you start getting a little bit more comfortable, um, you know, start speeding it up. But again, don't get out ahead of yourself and just take as many reps as it needs as you need to really to slide it nice and smooth, nice and far. And then step five is, you know, the fun part. In my opinion, like any new trick you learn is another puzzle piece, another tool in your tool belt to combine with other tricks, whether it be switch ups or on different obstacles or whatever it may be. Try it, you know, maybe try it switch only after you've really gotten super confident and comfortable with the normal true Mizu. Okay, and so those were the five steps on how I would tell you how to learn how to true spin Mizu grind. It's one of my favorite tricks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, again, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more how-to videos and other rollerblading content. And uh, with that, roller booters, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Without your help, this would not be possible. If you want to support the channel through Patreon, check out the link down in the description below and check out the video on the screen. I'll see you over there. You're going to pop your tire. Yeah, for real. Dude, that was sick. Bro, that was like, that was like 3,000 points right there. That was 3,000 points. <laughs> bro, if that was like skate three, bro, I need like a skate three line. <laughs>